now i am starting up the second video of your chapter 13 and i am going to tell you or i or i am going to solve few questions for you by seeing these questions you will be able to solve the other questions now i am first taking up your exercise 13.1 in this exercise, I am taking up the third question. Third question says it is given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDF. Now triangle ABC is given similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDF. And uh, some of the measurements are given to you. AB is given as 5 cm, AC is given as 7 cm, DF as 15 cm and DE as 12 cm. And you have to find the length of the remaining sides of the triangles. Means of both the triangles. Whatever sides are remaining you have to find. Now if these two triangles are given similar you can find the proportionality between the sides. AB upon ED will be equal to BC upon DF is equal to AC upon EF. Now in total there are six sides, three of triangle ABC and three of triangle EDF. Now whatever lengths are given to you, you put their values. AB is given to you as 5 centimeter. So 5 upon ED is given to you as 12 cm is equal to BC is not given to you so it means you have to find BC upon DF DF is given as 15 cm is equal to AC is given to you as 7 cm and the third side of triangle EDF is missing which is EF. So now after substituting the sides, we find that BC and EF are not given. So at a time as these three are ratios are equal to each other, at a time you can take two. Take these two, cross multiply and you will get the length of BC which is missing. Then we can take 5 upon 12 is equal to 7 upon EF, cross multiply and you can find the length of EF. This is how many questions are of like this only. So out of the three pairs which are in proportion you are going to take two pairs like this and one of the length will be missing and you will find after proving the triangles similar. But in this question triangle is already given similar. Now I am taking up the sixth question. Sixth question says in the figure 1 given below AB is parallel to DE and AC is given to you as 3 cm CE is given to you as 7.5 cm and BD uh, is given as 14 centimeter. So you have to calculate the length of CB and DC. So let me draw the figure for you first. Figure of sixth question A part is like this in which AB is given parallel to DE and write whatever lengths are given to you in the figure. So this is C. Now in order to find the length of CB and DC, we have to first prove these two triangles ABC and CDE similar. Now you see as the line segments AB and DE are given parallel. So first write the names of the triangles which you are proving similar in triangle ABC 
and triangle DEF. As I have written the name of the triangle ABC, I can write angle A because if you write the name of the triangle, then we are going to see angle A of triangle ABC only. Angle A is equal to angle E. That reason you know very well. Interior alternate angles. You can also take the second. This is the first pair of angle equal. The second pair of angles which are equal are angle B is equal to angle D. Same reason interior alternate angles. You can take this third pair also, but we require only two pairs to prove the two triangles similar. Angle ACB is equal to angle ECD. You know they are vertically opposite angles. So as I have already taken two, no need to take the third one. So now you can write angle ABC is similar to triangle. So now for triangle DEF, uh, it is DEC, not DEF, it is DEC. So for triangle DEC, I am going to use the that letter first, which is equal to angle A. So which angle is equal to angle A? E. Which angle is equal to angle B? D. Then EDC. So you are going to name the triangle like this EDC. Now you can form the proportionality between the sides. AB upon ED is equal to BC upon DC. is equal to AC upon EC. So these are the three pairs of sides which are in proportional to each other. Now in the figure, I'm going to mark the sides which are given to you. AC is given to you as 3 cm. CE is given to you as 7.5 cm. And complete BD is given to you. BD is given to you. The complete length BD is given to you as 14 centimeter. But you have to calculate this BC as well as DC. So in order to find BC and DC, I'm going to write let BC is equal to X centimeter. Let BC is equal to X centimeter. As the complete length, this BC I have taken as X. Complete BD is 14. So how much will be CD? CD will be equal to 14 minus X centimeter. And we have to find CD also. Now, whatever proportionalities are given to you, out of these three proportionalities, we will select the two pairs. This we have to take as we have to calculate them. And whatever lengths are given to you, you are given the lengths of AC and CE. So take this. So these two pairs have to be taken. And now I am going to insert their or I am going to substitute their values. Now how much is BC? X upon DC is 14 minus X is equal to how much is AC in the figure? 3. And how much is EC? 7. Sorry. It is 7 point. EC is 7.5. Now 14 minus x put it within brackets being binomial. Now you can cross multiply 
and you are going to get the equation in x i think which you can solve so 3 will be multiplied to 14 minus x within bracket and 7.5x i think you can solve it further and find x whatever is x is the length of bc and then cd also you can find by subtracting x from 14 so this is how you are going to do the sixth question now i'm taking up the seventh question b part in seventh question b part it is given that in the figure given in the figure 2 given below abc is equal to angle bac let me draw the figure for you this is a b c angle adc and this is d angle adc is given equal to angle bac again i'm drawing the figure this is a b d c angle adc is equal to angle bac and what you have to prove you have to prove that ca square is equal to dc into bc this we have to prove now what do you see in this you want dc you want bc dc is this line so it means and you want ac so we have to take triangles in triangle adc and triangle abc because bc you want for the proof which is this line segment that means we have to take triangle these two triangles bc is the side of triangle abc so in triangle adc and abc one pair is already given equal and what is that angle adc is equal to angle bac bac is the angle of triangle abc and adc is the angle of triangle dac they are given equal what will be the second pair first pair is already given what is the second pair of angles which are equal that is angle c for second step you are going to write angle c is equal to angle c because this angle c is you are having this angle c in triangle abc and same angle you have in triangle dac so angle c is equal to angle c what will be the reason common so the then again you will write triangle adc is similar to now use the letters for abc which are angles less correct letters angles which are equal should be used now you see that angle adc is given to equal to angle bac so it means a you will have in the middle c is equal to c this c which letter is left b so this is similar to this triangle adc is similar to triangle bac because angle a of triangle adc is equal to angle b of triangle abc and c are common and these are given equal
now we are going to form the sides of proportionality ad upon ba is equal to dc upon ac is equal to ac upon bc once you write the letters properly then sides of proportionality will never be wrong proper letters should be placed angles which are equal they should be placed now after proving the triangle similar and forming the sides of proportionality you require dc and bc and it is ac square it means i am going to take these two pairs which pairs i will take dc upon ac is equal to ac upon bc cross multiply them you get ac square is equal to dc into bc so this is what you have to prove in the seventh question b part now i am taking up the 12th question i am taking now 12th question now what does 12th question says and i am taking 12th question a part Twelfth question A part says in the figure one given below, AB, EF, and CD are parallel lines. Given that AF is seven point five, oh, sorry, given that AB is fifteen centimeter, EG is five centimeter, CG is ten centimeter, and BC is eighteen centimeter. Calculate EF. Now I think you can see the figure from the book only. You have to find the values of calculate. You have to calculate EF and AC. I am taking twelfth question, A part. Figure you can see from the book. Now in order to find EF, I have to take the triangle EFG and triangle. CDG. We have to prove these two triangles similar. So write their names. In triangle EFG and triangle CDG, prove them similar. For that, you see EF is given parallel to CD. So In triangle EFG, angle E will be equal to angle C. Reason: interior alternate angles. Angle F is equal to angle D. Same reason: interior alternate angles. So triangle EFG. is similar to triangle now again be careful to write proper letters angle e is equal to angle c so write c first f is equal to d then d and then g triangle efg is similar to triangle cdg and in the bracket write a a axiom so this is how the triangles have been and it is must to write the axiom used to prove the triangles similar so now you can form the sides proportionality between the sides ef upon ef upon first two letters cd is equal to fg upon dg 
is equal to eg upon cg now again out of these three pairs we are going to take the two pairs whose lengths are known to us you see that the length of ef we have to take so ef upon cd this we will take ef upon cd is equal to you see in the figure eg and cg are given to you so we will take this these two pairs have to be taken and i think now you can put their values from the question and you can find ef so for the second part i'll be requiring ef so that is why i'm calculating for you ef upon cd how much is cd it is 18 is equal to eg is how much 5 upon cg is how much 10 so 5 on the 5 5 to the 10 ef will be take this 18 18 upon 2 that is 9 cm so first part answer of the first part is 9 cm so don't forget that 9 ef is 9 cm now the second part says to find ac in order to find ac you can see ac is one of the sides of triangle abc so we have to take triangle abc you have to prove triangle in triangle abc and triangle abc and you are going to take triangle efc you have to prove these two triangles again similar you see that in triangle abc and in triangle ef efc angle c is equal to angle c common angle a angle a is equal to angle e as you see that ab and ef are also given parallel so angle a and angle e are corresponding angles so angle a is equal to angle e corresponding angles so then triangle abc is similar to triangle with letter a you are going to write first e c to be written with c so with b we are going to write f c again the axiom a a axiom here you have to write a a axiom now you can form the sides of proportionality sides of proportionality are ab upon ef is equal to bc upon fc is equal to ac upon ec again out of these three pairs take two pairs we have to find ac so this pair has to be taken and you are given the length of ab so we are going to take ab upon ef as ab is given and ef we have calculated in the first part now i'm going to put the value of ab which is given to you as 15 Centimeter, fifteen upon EF is nine. Is equal to this pair I have written. 
AC upon EC. AC you have to calculate and EC don't write directly 15. Show it 5 plus 10 first. So EC is EG plus GC, 5 plus 10. And now you can write 15 upon 9 is equal to AC upon 15. Cross multiply. I think you can calculate AC. So I have done few questions for you. Rest of the questions you do. And then I will discuss your problems during the period.